Hey guys, how's it going? You're probably wondering why I'm out walking around with a backpack on, walking down country roads um, in an overcast day and rainy day. Uh, it's basically just to get out and get my feet going with the pack on my hips. Um, it's backpacking season. We have a trip coming up in a couple weeks. It's always good to get the backpack out and get it kind of working a little bit uh, just to make sure you're not having any issues with it and make sure everything's working fine. Uh, it's just it's just good for your mobility. Um, I'm not out of shape by any means, but it's just something I like to try to do every every spring if at all possible. Uh, and I decided to come out here, which is the spot if you didn't know where I first thought I might do my cabin. And again, it's an excellent spot, but this is the spot that I decided that I might want to do a bushcraft camp, something a little more fun, a little more rustic, and just a hangout spot to try things and do things and whatnot. So. As you can tell or may not tell, it's, it's raining out. I threw up the tarp real quick just to get out of the rain a little bit. I got a piece of birch bark covering the camera right now so it's not getting wet. And uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of miserable at the moment, but it's supposed to end mid-afternoon. So I've got my uh, twig stove with me, no big deal. So I'll get something to eat here shortly. And then when the rain kind of stops, maybe I'll give you a little poke around and see what, see what uh, my options are for uh, kind of whatever I feel like doing. There's a nice open area there. There's tons of straight hardwood trees that might make good poles. I can see one right there. Yeah, and uh, you know, it could be a lot of fun doing this. Um, haven't decided if it's gonna be like a more aggressive build, like where I use a chainsaw to get what I need or just use uh, hand tools like axes and buck saws and stuff. And I think I'll try and stick with that, but that's just, uh, that's up for debate. There's no reason to decide that right now. Right now, I'm just here to get my feet going for backpacking and just kind of check out the site, hang out, enjoy the afternoon. I'm actually on my way to an overnight at the cabin with my girlfriend. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, this is kind of like a stop along the way. Anyways, I'm going to get uh, kind of situated here, get organized, and see what I need to do, and what I can film, what I can't film. The rain's coming down okay right now, and it's hopefully it goes away so we can film the area a little bit more and we can talk about it. <laughs> Let's look funny with this chair. Uh, my girlfriend bought us uh, Helinox chairs. <laughs> They're the chair ones. Uh, they weigh about one pound. They're meant for ultralight backpacking or lightweight backpacking. Uh, one pound is great. I mean, I take film equipment that weighs two, three pounds, depending on what I was trying to do. So this is just perfect. So you can kind of sit in a little comfort when you're in camp. Now, some places have like um, picnic tables and benches and stuff like that, but they get wet. And with the tarp and our tent and stuff like that, we can set it up in a way that we can sit under our tarp and have a nice decent meal now and not get soaked and yeah so it's pretty good little setup now and uh, I figured I'd get out and give it a try at least for today so you've probably seen this twig stove before it's uh, used it many many times that's a DIY I made it myself I think I made a video on it I don't know. I can't remember anyways it only costs a few dollars to make and a bit of, a bit of, a bit of your time some tools but there's a guy, I can't remember who, who did the video and, and came up with this one. I'd like to buy a real one, uh, one like, uh, kind of like the one that Joe Robinette has and stuff, but it's, it's not required. It's, it's just, it's one of those I wish I had. Like if it got going, it might might be okay. I might be able to split some of this with my knife, but I don't know. No, it's not going to. Let's try the birch again. Let's see what happens. See if we can. If we can get it started, I bet you it'll be okay. I feel like this will work once it gets going. But it's getting that initial. All right, Patrick, try not to burn the forest down. Don't need to do that. Okay, we're going to let that go for a little bit. 
and uh, I'm going to go get some more birch bark just to, for fuel's sake, and then I'm going to oh crap, and then uh, try and find some more dry twigs or something that might be a little bit better. But I might be able to split these guys with my knife too, but I don't really have a hard surface to do that, so we'll see. Okay, so hopefully that'll work. We're going to run down and grab a little bit of water uh, from the creek. I don't need a lot. I have a little bit of water I've been drinking, and I have my other uh, filter as well with me somewhere in that bag. I don't know where exactly. So we're going to go grab some water real quick and uh, try and keep that going while I'm running over there. And um, what did I bring the filter? I think I brought the filter. I don't know. We'll have to see. The reality is that that's going out. So I'm going to have to go tend to the fire and then we're going to go and get some water. Well, it's not working out too well. I think what I'll do is I'll take my knife. I, I tried it with a couple branches there. And I'm just going to uh, try and clean it off a little bit. Kind of like you're using like a fire steel. Strip some of that bark off. Okay, so I think we've got uh, something that's going to work. So what I've been doing now is I'm just filing down some of this wood. Um, I could break it as such nice heavy duty knife um, that works too but if I do the filings the sh or the shavings I guess then I can stoke it up really easily and then put more damp twigs in so it's a win-win right now so I'm gonna go with that okay we're almost there I might forego the coffee I'm not sure yet uh, but I do want to do this right away so all I'm going to do is I'm going to boil the water and I'm going to heat up a ramen noodle. I salvaged one of those uh, dinner packs from the last video. So I'm going to put the ramen in there with some dehydrated veggies and let it steep for 15 minutes and then have a munch from there. It's probably the best, easiest way to do it. If you haven't noticed, I'm a fan of ramen noodles. Easy calories, not the best for you. Make for great backpacking meals. It's light. It's cheap. Um, you know, if I had more money and more resources, maybe I would uh, upgrade. But for now, this will do. Oh, I don't think I want a leaf in there. Okay. And then we're just gonna throw. Oh. Well, I've been moving around a lot, so let's just eat it up. This is all stuff for backpacking meals that's been left over. I uh, just didn't have any uses. Dried peppers, red, yellow, uh, orange, and green peppers. Not a lot of green, though. Perfect. Super simple. Give you a quick look there. Yeah, so. And uh, we'll put the two cups of water in there and... Off we go. Perfect. Great thing about this too is that uh, you can seal it off right away. Since there's not much in the mix, you can add in the packet near the end anyways. So oh, she's boiling, boiling hot, that's for sure. All right, let's see if we can get a coffee on. So yeah, I'm really digging this spot. This is fantastic. I haven't done one of these little things in a while. I think. Winter had me cooped up and school and stuff kind of kept me from wanting to do stuff. And now that I'm here, I'm like, this is awesome. This is exactly what I want to be doing. Spending my afternoons out like this. And uh, the potential of this place is just, it's just fantastic. So I have a couple ideas. Um, maybe you can let me know in the comments what you think. 
I tend to do what I want, but at the same time, all ideas are good ideas until I prove that they're bad ideas. But, just joking. So, uh, first off, I think over on the flat area there, I think, or somewhere's in this area maybe, I'm thinking some sort of lean-to type shelter, maybe a traditional native type shelter, something that I might have to do some real serious work on. Um, maybe even purchase a debarker and yeah, really kind of get rustic. Uh, I think that'd be an awesome thing to do. If nothing else, uh, a really cool lean-to would be nice. Uh, something like the other camp, but uh, a little bit more uh, close to the cabin. That's the whole point of this. is more of a, well, you can almost call it like a bushcraft play area. And then if, uh, you know, if I ever want to change up the game, I can come out here. And it's not far from civilization, but it's far enough away to enjoy it. Um, so yeah, that's that's one idea. Uh, the other idea I had was to build a shelter over the stream, literally over the stream. So you see a lot of uh, moderate, moderate sized uh, uh, hardwood trees, which would make great like poles and posts. Um, so what I was thinking is maybe make some sort of platform and, uh, and then build a, uh, like an A-frame or a uh, cabin style or just something that that resembles like a, a tree house over a stream essentially uh, and the reason I, I thought of that is because like everybody there's some people that are doing tree houses and there's some people that are doing um, different types of shelters for whatever reason and uh, I thought it would be fun to try something that nobody's done on a channel before which is kind of something maybe over water specifically um, and there's a couple good reasons for that one is that I enjoy being in an area that has easy access to water like that's obvious uh, the other thing is is that uh, I, I like the sound of rushing water and moving water so not rushing water moving water and uh, that would be something I think I would enjoy uh, overall shelter over here probably gonna do shelter over the water we'll see the other thing I might do uh, is I could do a more aggressive build with a chainsaw um, I'm leaning towards that a little bit because I think it's it, it expedites the process um, and I don't mind expediting the process I'm this is not Walsh in the Woods bushcraft anymore this is a Walsh in the Woods as an outdoor adventures and sometimes you got to do what you got to do you know I mean Sean James is a good example of that I mean he, he does a lot of old school stuff but he also uses modern day tools to help him get to get there so I think that's uh, something I need to consider as well. No word of lie, this trip was doomed from the beginning. So uh, rain makes it hard to make coffee and all that stuff, but I'll be damned if we got a spoon. So, so I'm literally using my Starbucks via package wrapper just because I thought I'd try it for fun. And scooping up little bits of noodles. It actually worked. Uh, as I was saying before, uh, put things down in the comments, say things, talk about things. Um, let me know what you think about the uh, plans and ideas and um, yeah, I think we'll come up with something fun to do one way or the other. Something that will make a good series regardless. So I'm going to try and eat some of this and, and then uh, we'll pack up and then head on to the cabin and kind of see what's going on there. Um, I heard my girlfriend drive by with the dog barking, so I know the key's there. So what we'll do is we'll trek across land. We'll go back to the stream maybe for a minute, and I'll show you a little bit more about that uh, in terms of possibilities. And then we'll, we'll cut across land until we hit the road, and then not the road that I was on before, but the road that's inside the property, and have a nice walk back to the cabin and go from there. Talk to you soon.
not, I know where it is, so we're going that way. Okay, so we're back at the stream. It's maybe about 150 feet from the plateau over there, so it's not very far. As you can see, there's two flat edges right there, one on each side. Whoa, whoa! Okay, flat edges on each side there. And what, you, what I was thinking, maybe just lay cross beams. So maybe get some rock or something, or bigger logs, and then do counter logs, and then stake them in. Because um, I gotta get it a little high, just in case the water does rise. It's, this is the highest I've ever seen it. So it just dries up a bit in the summer, and it's more active in the summertime. Uh, yeah, so right there, and then obviously I'd have to level it, and you can't see from this view here, there are tons of very, very straight hardwood trees and birds that would, and some beach actually, it's not too bad, it'd be interesting for burning, um, all over the place, all over this, just, just tons of it, just ridiculous amounts, and then go to the tree shelter right up there. And then maybe I'll make a path down here because I think I'll be moving in and out of this area a lot. The biggest challenge would be on the side of a hill a lot, but outside of that, I think it'll be perfectly fine. So yeah, that's my idea, guys. So put, put it down in the comments. If you think that's a neat idea or something you don't want to watch, uh, hit that like button if you want to want to see that because I definitely think it would be a lot of fun to make. Anyways, we're going to go that way. <laughs>